I want to talk to you about trolls. This, this is not really a partisan political live. And I will be taking and converting this into a regular video. So um, if you miss anything, you can, you, you can watch it on my page. There are those who want nothing more than to divide. Their philosophy is that if they can't win legitimately, they will try anything they can. They lie. They will, they will try to divide us. To give you an example, if you're just popping on here, we're talking about trolls. Not, not the type of trolls that just come along and throw insults, but rather the type that, the, the, they're not the, not the less intelligent people. They're the ones that are pretty crafty and they try hard to divide us. And dur during the election of um, 2016, they worked hard to divide the supporters of Hillary from the, the, um, uh, the supporters of Bernie. You would see, like on Facebook, um, one site that was more Hillary Hillary leaning, having um, the quote unquote um, Bernie Bros, who were just Trump or Russian trolls pretending to be supporters of Bernie, trashing Hillary, saying awful things. And you um, then you had the converse of a, on a, a Bernie um, page. They 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 would pretend to be Hillary supporters, just trying to divide us in any way possible. We, we saw as, as this election was starting, um, an attempt to lift um, um, Kennedy Jr. up as an alternative to Joe Biden. And they were pushing him, try, trying to divide us. And they, they thought they really had it. And you talk to Republicans and they would say, oh, oh yeah, I, I like Kennedy. And isn't it interesting that now Kennedy has endorsed Trump? Of course, no one else in his family is doing so, and they're not too happy with him doing this. But they try hard to divide us. I've noticed something recently, and you probably have too, attempt to divide us on the age issue. And you might see this regardless of which side you fall on, on the political divide. They want to, um, they want to divide the older people from the younger people because they know the younger people are on fire and, and they, they want to see Kamala Harris elected. But so if they can get a wedge between older voters, especially Democratic voters, they think they, they can help divide us and maybe divert some of the, some of the, the votes. But um, we're not going to let them do that because we see through them. One fellow, I, I posted a, a, a video that had nothing to do really with politics, but rather to try to explain how I believe a lot of these, what we see as fake reports and, and harassment is just TikTok's AI system not really working as well as it could. One fellow popped on there and he go, said something to this order. He, he, he said, the problem with this app is too many of you older people are coming on and destroying it. It was better when we just had young people on it and, and all this political crap, you know, just take it off of there. And here's the thing. Here's what was really suspicious. If you haven't noticed, AI's um, algorithm is a pretty good. If you only watch sports videos on TikTok, that's pretty much all that's going to pop up there. Now, if you first start, it takes it a little bit for it to figure out where you fall. But once it figures it out, that's what you get. If you're just watching sports, that's all everything's the only thing that's going to come on there. If you're only watching young, younger posters, um, doing dancing and stuff, and get, let me make this clear. There's nothing wrong with all these different things that people get excited about. If you like sports, if you like dance videos, there's nothing wrong with that. I see some people criticizing people for um, making um, dance videos. That's nonsense. What, whatever you, do, you, you enjoy, what, 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 what we, we call float, you should float your boat, that's good. But they want to divide us. And so, but with that atherism, it pinpoints. And if you don't like sports and you see, I'm sorry, if you don't like politics and you see a pol political um, video, you scroll past that, it figures out you don't want to see that. And pretty soon, you're not seeing any of those political um, videos. My point here is that person who was upset because we were putting political videos on TikTok, if he wasn't trying to watch political videos, they would not be popping up there. What it was, was an attempt to divide us, to create the old ge um, generation gap, as we used to call it back in the 60s and 70s, because they want to um, divide us. And if they can get older Democrats fighting with the younger ones, 
they can create a little wedge. You know what? I have only one thing that annoys me about some of the younger um, posters on here. Let's take a real popular person, Harry. Hey, he's wonderful. I see that guy going places. The only thing I got against him is why did I have to grow old? It's really unfair how quickly we get old. You know, I see young women and what bugs me is it seems like yesterday I was dating a women their age. Now those women could be one of their grandmothers. It just isn't fair how quickly we get old. My, my point is I have nothing against younger people. More power to you. You're getting involved. That's great. That's how I got my feet wet when I first first got involved um, at 15 in politics. I um, I did voluntary work for the re-election of one Richard Nixon. That's how I realized the Republican Party was not for me. Now, I won't go into that very much, but I want to get it across. When one of these characters comes on there and starts berating you because you're an older um, a poster here, that person is just a troll trying to divide. When someone comes on here and berates you for being a younger poster, that person is just a troll trying to divide. Don't fall for the scam. This is what I want to get across to you. Don't let these trolls get to you because they aren't interested in civil discussions. They are, they are not interested in really a, a, a respectful exchange of ideas. They want to divide. They want to upset and they want to push you away from it. Don't let them. You see, when you resist, you win and they lose. So um, this is what you got to do. What I posted back to this fellow, because I knew, I'm pretty sure that even though I would block him, he would still see my response in his, um, in his um, inbox. I put, thank you for um, letting me know that you were somebody I need to block. I'm blocking you. Bye-bye. And he's gone. That's why I did not make a video response to the character. But more I thought about it, I realized this wasn't a young person. Being annoyed, uh, being annoyed by um, an older person posting or about politics. Because if he only watches videos of younger people and non-political videos, that's what he'd be seeing. He was seeing a political video because that's what he watches because he's a troll and he's trying to divide and he's putting this type of garbage out. Don't fall for their trap. When you see someone saying, oh, you're too old to be doing this. Why, 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 why don't you leave this for the younger people on this app? Just like water off the back of a duck. Just let it go and realize, you know what? That might not even be a young person. That could be someone who's older than you try, trying to divide. Don't fall for it. Just let it go and realize you beat them by not falling for their little scam. And that's what's really important here. This is what I want to get across to everybody. I, I decided to um, do a live because I figured I'd get more people actually seeing this than if I just made a video. And I will turn this into a regular video. And um, you'll see all different things. And I do think it's interesting that they try to divide us with our, our um, oh, Kennedy Jr. I, I won't say, that. I'm horrible with a lot of initials. Um, and interesting, once it looked like he wasn't going to get anywhere and they couldn't use him to pull off votes from Biden because Biden now is endorsing Harris. All of a sudden, Kennedy's endorsing Trump? Kennedy was running as a Democrat. Shouldn't he be endorsing the Democrat? I mean, if he was legit. He wasn't legit. He was being backed by the GOP and Trump's people to try to divide us and pull votes away. Don't fall for the scams. What I would like to see is us change our system. We need to get money out of politics. We need to get it so that once you get on the ballot, you get on the ballot by getting enough signatures from those people who vote in your area. Once you're on the ballot, you get a set amount of money. That's the same for your opponents. And um, everybody has the same amount of money. They're given so much airtime, being the um, internet is really belongs to us and the, um, their waste belongs to the people. And a lot of these sites depend on public support. So you're given so much time of free advertisement so long as you abide by certain rules. And you're given so much money for your to run your campaigns and for campaign events. And that evens the field. So it doesn't matter if one guy has more money and the other person has less. It's all even. And the other thing is rank voting. This, this allows third parties to have a, a more legitimate um, effort to win. Instead of, being, instead of being 
just one second. My little baby dog wants up here. Give me a second. Here. Come on, come over here. Come on, you stinker. She wants to play. She doesn't understand what a video is. Okay, she's looking for a toy. Okay, we'll, we'll just l let her go. Um, she's not a troll, but she was interrupting what I was saying. <laughs> anyway, friends, don't fall for their scam. But I was saying, with rank voting, you, you have a choice where instead of taking votes away from the candidate that you really like, you, you, you have a chance to work. Let, let's say, um, well, we'll just go by different parties. Let, let's say there, there's a Constitution Party um, candidate you really like. Matter of fact, you like him better than the, the Republican candidate, but you don't want to be throwing your vote away and where your vote could, and you don't want to see the Democrat gain. And on the um, reverse, let's say you like somebody running on the Green Party, but you don't want to be helping the Republican. With right voting, it gives you like cho four choices. Let's just go with president. You, you, you vote, your first choice is for the Green Party. Your second choice is for the, the Democratic Party candidate. And your third choice might be somebody else, but you got four, four different choices, okay? But you rank them, one, two, three, four. What happens is when, when all the votes come in, the guy who has, or woman, who has the least amount of vote is, is gone. Now, all of their second choices, that person becomes their first choice and is reevaluated. And then the third person in the, the um, ranking, after everything's gone over, that person is gone. And all of their second or third choices now become the first choice. And now it's between two people. And it allows third parties a chance without taking votes away from somebody you would be more likely to vote for. This is what we have to do. Because right now, they've been using um, third parties to um, try to make it take votes away from um, the person who, who probably is the one really running. We, there's a belief that Ross Perot may have helped Kennedy get, um, I'm um, um, Clinton get elected, even though it sh pretty much showed that he, he had both, he pulled votes from both Democrats and Republicans. But um, in, in, in a lot of these different things, you, you find the third party candidate hurts, you, but this way it would not hurt him. But, the, the sometimes politicians, as she, might be a surprise to you, use dirty tricks and they, they try to pull votes away. And what they're trying to do now is to divide us over um, age. It's easy. It's easy to be envious of someone who's young. You know, after all, let's be honest. I'm 67. I'm closer to the end of my life than I was at the beginning. You know, um, I've been pretty successful, but I would love to go back. Not so much because of a few mistakes, but rather the fun was in achieving. The fun was in building things up and, and starting from nothing and making something of yourself. And in a way, I am a little envious, but not begrudging. That, that, that's one of the most awful things that some people have. Somebody's successful and they hate that person just because the person was successful. Not, not because they were slighted. So, um, but anyway, friends, my message here is don't fall for the scam. When you see someone saying, oh, you're too old. You should get off this app or, or call you names or, you know, what one person said, call, call me gramps. And I told him, I'm not your grandpa. You know, I don't care what your grandma told you. I am not your grandpa. And, um, the funny thing is he had no reaction to that, which is another way, you know, it's easy to want to attack back. Remember, if your attack back sounds like you are attacking his, that generation, you will be helping the trolls divide us. I am thrilled about the young people getting active and, and, and involved. They are our future. In hopefully a few decades, hopefully quite a few decades, I'll be dead and gone. I am hoping that what comes after me will make this world better. I've tried hard in my life. And I have worked hard to make things better. And in college, one professor said it so well. He said, I know I can't change the whole world and make the whole world better. But I'm hoping that I can leave it just a little bit better than when I found it. And that's what I need to do. And I think I have. I've been a positive influence on my world. Unfortunately, there's some people that want to be a negative influence. Let's all strive to make it better. And when you hear someone insulting you because of your age or your gender, as far as your, you know, as far as your male, female, or um, trans, or whatever, ignore them, block them. They're not worth your time. 
And remember, their goal is to anger you and divide. So you beat them when you don't get angry and you don't let them divide us. And instead, you block them and you move on because they're not worth it. Remember that, my friend. They are not being honest players. Many of them, many of them are playing games. 